I mean, this is your home church. Yeah. He's my, like, we're pretty close. No way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, this is your this is your home church. When you get here, I was like, all right, cool, bro. I've never been there. I've seen online one online service. I don't know. I was kind of, my parents were super religious growing up, yeah. and I kind of just lost the fire. Yeah. And there was a time I was so mad. You know what I mean? Like. I was like, just God isn't real. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I, I went, we've all gone through it. Yeah, but like now, I'm starting to slowly come back. Yeah, and slowly. the cool thing is, like, that's your process, yeah. and it doesn't change who God is or how He sees you. You yeah, just gotta walk sure, through it yeah. the way you want to walk through yeah. it. At the end, you always end up back. Yeah, and know He's always there when you, whenever you're ready. He's not forceful. Like people like to force. Like, I'm never gonna be that dude on the street corner saying you're going to hell with this. Yeah, guy. exactly, bro. That's, That's what not I our don't job. Get man. Like, our, my job is to love God and love people, help wherever they're at in life. And that's the greatest That's it. God. Don't ju I don't judge. I don't discriminate. And I feel like some of the most judgmental people I ever yeah. meet are in church. Yeah. And yeah. usually, people that don't like church, they don't like. It's not because they don't like God. It's they don't like the people, people in the church. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah, it really we gotta, is. We gotta be conscious of that. Like, if we can't, I never we, know. <laughs> if we look so unattractive as as the church, as the body of Christ, why would anyone want what we have? But if you live your life without talking about it a lot, and they can just see the way you live your life, oh, there's something about you. That's me. Like, I'm not a preacher. The only message I preach is how I live my life, just how my actions and how I am. I'm just like teach them people like. Mm. Yeah. I know. Like, share them the gospel of God. I've been really serious since I got in here. I'm not usually this serious, bro. No, it brings out that side of you. Yeah. It does. I'm like, all the conversations I've had with everyone has been pretty good, pretty deep. Like, I was heavy contemplating life when I. I'm going to show you this book. Nice. It's really true that like people don't go to church and judge you. It's the worst. Like when someone comes in and they haven't got it all together, they're wearing something different. A lot of like older church generation will be like, why are they here? They can't. When the opposite, like Jesus was there for the, the people that felt left out. The prostitutes, the tax collectors who back in those days looked, were looked down upon. And he pulled them in. And that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to pull them in and love them. Yeah. My best friend is half English. So he lived in London for a while. And I guess it messed with him. So he started reading this book and it calmed him down a lot. And it was so perfect because like, I never told him this, but before like New Year's, my resolution was to be more in the moment because I'm always either thinking about what's next or like, like being a bee about the past. Yeah. Like, oh, I could have, I should have done this. This shouldn't have happened to me. So reading that book helped me a lot, bro. If I finish it while I'm in the house, I'll, I'll let you go through it. I'd love to, man. My mind's always going. When exactly. I lay down in bed, I'm like thinking, thinking. That's why I can't fall asleep right away. I don't know. Like, ah, I have to food, like man. pray and meditate and just like drain everything out. That's how you know what helps? Writing in a journal. Exactly. It helps so I literally much. write in my journal every day. Yes. And we can't do that here. It's, yeah, especially <laughs> if you have like, let's say you have no one to talk to. If you write it down in a journal, oh, yeah. everything that you want to say is and it's unfiltered. Yeah, you know, I was uh, a couple months ago. There was a an, an AC unit that leaked on my journal, and it soaked everything. And I lost everything I wrote during my breakup. Like it was the most deep Damn, journal. The most time you needed. Yeah. yeah. And I'll never be able to look back and see where I was. But I think it was like, a, like a, like God saying, you, you can move on from that. You don't need to revisit that. Like let it go. That's true. Yeah. So I was like, alright, cool. Because at first I was, I was like, why am I crying about a journal? No, but like it's it, not about I felt so thing. dumb. <clears throat> but it was like the only thing that listened to me with like no judgment yeah. when I just needed to let out. Well, since you can't write in a journal now, what I do is kind of like Meditate. pray it out. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. And I'm here. If I'm, I'll be your big bro if you need me. I remember I have a journal and like every time the mapuno siya, I yeah. burn it out. Really? Just to like let go of it? and. Okay. Well, I wouldn't, one of the reasons why I'd want to destroy it, like after I'm done with it, is yeah. so that no one sees it. <laughs> it's like, those, like, what if someone sees your deepest, darkest thoughts? And I'm like, Gah! It depends on the season of my life, too. Sometimes I want to look back and be like, like when I was like a kid, I was like, I want to move to LA one day and be an actor. Oh, no, you I want to look back and be like, you did that. Like, you can look back and tell yourself, you did that. Your girlfriend. It's in her pocket. 
because sometimes you forget to be thankful as well. Like I would, I was in LA three years, and it, and then I was after three years, but I sat in a coffee shop. I looked around. I was like, dude, just I know you didn't get that audition, Kanina, but just be thankful you're here. You wanted to be in LA for so long, and now you're here. But you, like, you're so always thinking about the next thing. I forgot to be thankful. And I looked back, and I was like, dude, you hoped and prayed for this. Like, sit in that moment. Always be grateful for everything. Yeah. Albi. No bandanas in the confession room. Can I Rule you. I mean, if Kuya will like. I should take it off. Take it off. If he says no. What is it? Why is he wearing pants? You got now? It's what it said. Like, how's the experience like being in a worship? And I love it. They're family, and it's not literally. I not. I don't try and sound bad, but it's not about me. You know, it's like an, I'm I'm worshiping for an audience of one. So if if I mess up, it's no, there's no judgment. Like singing in front of like for your career, you're constantly being judged. And I grew up like that. Fear of the judgment of people. Because, and it's not like a product I'm showing, it's me. So if you judge this, it's like deep for me. But when I lead worship, it's a, it's a unity, it's a community. And like, you know, you and the band are so solid. And it's, and then you see like, Lila and I, when we lead for like youth camps or youth conventions, you see kids who are going through a like broken families or whatever. And they're like, when they raise their hands and they give it to God and they surrender it. And you can see God touching them. Just it's not about me at all, and I love that's what I love. That's what I love them every time I yeah. hear like worship songs, yeah. like they touch you. And sometimes I love when, you, when you're like going through something and you don't have the words anymore to pray, you don't have the you're just like in pain, but you have the worship song to unite your, your feeling with, and you know, lang you could cry out, Mokhe God. That those you know moments. that clean is my devotion, really? devotional song, <laughs> fail song, no? Yeah. Clean. I love that. It's my devotional song. It's it's crazy how like it's more than a song. It's like it. It's it's, it's like it's, a prayer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ay, baka Replay. Oh, feel like dance, feel like dance. Oh. Ano, no, no. Feel like dance. I feel like dance. 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 Oh, back. Oh, okay. Tama ka pa kabulog dito. Kasi na kulog ako eh, na kulog. Tas nag-roll ako, tas napunit-punit. Hindi mo kalaban mo si Edwin, mas will be. Bakit hindi nakabili? Sino meron? Di ko alam, pinagbihis kami. Kaya mo eh. Naka-shirt ako. Naka-jeans kami eh, oh. Doorbell ako ng doorbell, ayaw buksan. Eh, nagpalit ako ng pantalon. Ako, KD. KD. Karen. Baka yung nominee. Nominee. Or the best actor. <laughs> or the Oscar. <laughs> the Grammys. Yun ay mayon, mayon. Could be. Ano ba sinabi? Parang magayos ang gamit, di ba? Huh? Feeling ko. Kasi magayos lang na basa ko eh.